warm welcome everyone my name is Nick welcome back to this revisited series if you've been looking at all the others we've been having a look at this time it's the turn of Batty uh, of course on the Zelix Spectrum 48k published by Hitpack in 1987 it's a breakout clone if you're familiar from that game from the arcades by Atari from 1976 for one to two players where essentially you must um, demolish a whole display of bricks from screen to screen. There's various different power-ups as we go through. It's for joystick or keyboard. Um, yeah, so we'll have this go on this one. Um, also come out the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. So you have this bat, and by hitting this ball that comes back each time, a little bit tricky with uh, the colours being exactly the same, but um, you have to demolish all the bricks. And that's essentially it, really. Um, in this revisiting series, if you haven't looked at the others, the reason why we're having a second look at some of these games, it's the first few games I reviewed on the channel where my sound wasn't quite up to scratch. I didn't have a proper microphone, so we thought we'd give them another go. Uh, the power-ups um, are hidden behind certain bricks at random. There's one there, which was slow, but the other ones, as well as the slow, it makes the ball travel, well, obviously slower to make it easier. There's Smart Bomb. Uh, which destroys all aliens on screen which turn up every now and again uh, extra life uh, there's the rocket pack which boosts me to the next stage without having to do anything else there's hand which freezes the ball on the bat so you can aim it a bit better gun so you can fire at the bricks a uh, triple ball which makes the ball go into three uh, bonus points and um, yeah smart bomber I already uh, mentioned so this is screen two some of the blocks require you to hit it two times before it gets uh, destroyed and game over already. Yeah, so I'll have another go on this, but I have got a poke for infinite lives. Um, I haven't put it in yet, of course. We'll have one more go of it. If I don't make too much progress, we'll put it in so I can show you a few other screens. But fairly basic, but works quite well. I have got this via an app on my phone as well, and it works okay on that also, so quite nice. As an advancement, if you see my review on the ZX Spectrum of Through the Wall, uh, which come with the uh, the Spectrum uh, when I first bought it on the Horizons tape by Sinclair Research, you've got a very basic sort of like um, wall game there. This is a bit more advanced than that, come about five years later on. So it's good to see uh, evolution. And I can't see they couldn't have done too much better on this one. It works out quite well. Uh, like of all breakout games, the secret is, on these levels at least, to try and get the ball behind the wall so it just destroys it from behind there, so you have to do uh, less work. Now we've got a, a power up to make the bat a bit bigger. Let's try and get it behind if I can. Oh, there's a booster there. So we'll take advantage of that and zip to the next screen. Stage 2. Right. Now in the middle there, you can see that circular thing. Um, that's a switch. It's now uh, closed. The ball can bounce off uh, that at a funny angle once it's open, which it is now. So you have to watch out for that, because the, the ball does travel quite fast on this game. I think I've only got one life left. This is it. It's now, or ever. Probably won't be never, because we'll put a poke in. Right, here we go. Oh, here we go, that'll work. Did you have this game back in the time, or play Breakout, the original Atari from 1976? Let me know. Now this is when it starts getting a bit tricky because we've got an alien at the at the top there that's going to fire missiles at me. Which sometimes it makes it a bit difficult to try and avoid what he's firing at, firing the bullets at you, and also getting the ball. And I think that was it, is it? Yes. So that didn't last too long, did it? So um, I'll put the poke in, and hopefully we make a bit more progress. I'll show you a few other stages. Batty, it's quite a good game, I would say. Uh, good graphics for the time, sound is as expected. It's, it's, it's fun. It's one of those games that's quite addictive. You'll be coming back quite a lot for this once you've loaded it up. Right, okay, let's try and do it properly. Although I've got infinite lives on, let's try and catch this now. You can get tired quite quickly. There's triple ball there, which I've missed. I think the secret is to try and follow the ball as it goes round. Try and be underneath it the whole time, perhaps. Right, not doing too bad here. There's the hand. If I got that, the ball would have stuck on the bat so I could aim it by yourself a bit of time. Occasionally the ball speeds up really, really fast. Right. Oh, I thought I had the hand then. Obviously I didn't. Cut. Oh, it's, yeah, it was going a bit too quick then. Love that animation when the uh, explodes. When you miss the ball. Ah, oh, seeing it a bit too often now. But you can see my lives in the bottom left. It's staying on three bats, so it isn't going down. Let's see if I can knock it behind. It's gone slow. That should help. 
there we go so it's gone behind the wall that's what you always should be aiming for so it should destroy it from behind there oh that'll do thank you very much on to level two and it's that green level here it is so you can do one player or two player and i think there's also a mode where the screen splits in half where both players can uh, play at the same time and work together to destroy the wall what's your favorite breakout clone let me know because there are lots millions you might mention one i've never heard of which is quite likely because uh, i don't think they was too difficult to program these fairly basic game so as long as you was good at designing levels of bricks uh, which I imagine was quite good fun. You're pretty much there, really. B a t t y Batty, not based on the uh, the footballer from the '90s, uh, David Batty, of course. If you're wondering, it's about a bat. It's a play on words, not a not a lion pad. Right, there's that switch there. Wouldn't mind that jet booster, the rocket pack, so I can zip off this screen. Now that's closed. Oh, well done. Yeah, so pretty hopeless. I'm pretty much like this at tennis as well. Serve, return, miss. That's my style. I'll never be the world's number one. If the whole world was given world tennis rankings, I'd probably be in the bottom half. May even be last. <laughs> that's, that's good, isn't it? Uh, the whole world at tennis, I'd be last. That's great, Nick. Well done. Well, what's that one do? That's bonus points. Oops, see this. Right, I've got the gun here. Let's take out a few of these blocks. Now these um, power-ups are only um, active for a certain amount of time or until you hit another power-up which cancels it out. If you take too long an alien turns up, as you can see in this UFO, and that will start firing things at me, which is not good. It looks like the rocket pack isn't around here, so I'm going to have to do the whole thing, which could, which could take a while. What have I got there? Have I got the... Yeah, I've got the, uh, the mode where it just takes them all out. The, s the breakout bit. Right, that, that UFO is getting on my nerves now because quite often you get really cruel rebounds off the alien and it's almost impossible to follow, like there. Oh no. I wish there was a key to skip different levels, but there isn't. Can't have everything, I suppose. Right, we've got two blocks left. Come on, one block left. Come on. And then we can leave this behind. Is that going to get it? No. Right, I should be able to aim it now. Round two, there, that'll do. Boom. On to round three. Now this one's infuriating this because you have to get the ball in those little gullies. You see the red bricks and the blue bricks? They're incredibly difficult to get. So you might see... I don't want the review to last 20 minutes on me on this bit, so you might see a clever bit of editing at some point. But let's see if I can do it. Right, so that's all the, the middle bit done. Come on. Let's get rid of those black um, bricks. Right, there's one of the yellow ones taken care of. Oh no! This stage is annoying. We can do without this round. Round three! Right, the alien turns out a bit too um, quickly as well. There's quite a few stages on this. Uh, I think in my first review on this game I did quite a bit uh, better. I think I got quite far in the game. I might be wrong though. Right, please go down to the blue bit. It hasn't gone down to the blue bit. Uh, come on. Oh, damn it. It's going to take me ages to get those blue bits. Have you completed this game? If you have, be honest with me. If you've completed it, well done, you. Haven't seen it on the Commodore 64, the Antred CPC. If you own it for that, then uh, tell me what your thoughts are. Cause it's always good hearing the, what the game's like on different systems. Quite often I'll know what it's like on the Spectrum and the Commodore Amiga, of course, because that's what I own. If it come out for the Game Boy Advance, also I've played that, but I, I haven't got too much knowledge of the Amtrad CPC and the Commodore 64, because I've got that blue thing there. That's why I don't review them. Okay. Boom. How many lives have I lost so far? I've got, I've got four bats down the bottom there. Hooray. Hardly deserved. Oh, damn it. If that alien wasn't there, it would have gone down. Look, this... I've got to hit it pitch perfect here to get it to get it through there. Uh, right, I'm right. Bear with me, because um, I'm not gonna. You know, I have to sit all through this. I'm gonna do a bit of a, an edit here. So uh, yeah, see you in a little bit.
Okay, we've finally done that. Uh, this is the stage afterwards. Try and get the ball behind. It's a little bit uh, tricky. There's another switch you can see in the bottom middle. But if you bought this back in the day, you're not going to complete it on the same day unless you're a genius. It's going to take you absolutely ages. Would love for there to be a level designer on this. That would be good. Right, I've got the demolisher upgrade, or did have. There's the triple ball, which is helpful up there. Good. Watch those bricks die. Boom. Uh, yeah. Well, that hand would have been helpful. I think the ball's going to come right through here. Let's try and get it behind again. No. It's going to go behind. Good. Right. How many bricks left? Millions. I, I want that rocket pack to turn up. I don't think that's on every stage. Round four of about 22 billion and the UFO's arrived again. Worse luck. Damn it. Why is it whenever you just want to destroy a brick wall, aliens turn up from another galaxy and want to kill you? I mean, do they hold brick walls as a god or... Or as, I don't know. They love brick walls. They hear that earthlings are destroying the walls and they think, right, we must do something. Let's go to the solar system. And perhaps that's what it's all about, really. If only we had some sort of dialogue, they should let us know. It's just attack, attack, attack with them. Curses. Hit Pack, this is by, from 1987. So, late 80s. It was about the time the 16 bit systems were starting to. Uh, just appear in the shops, I believe. Commodore Amiga, Atari ST. So in the 8-bit systems, I think the main the main uh, battleground people used to sort of argue what was uh, what was the best was the Commodore 64, the Spectrum 48K, and it was sort of like turning to the Commodore Amiga versus the Atari ST. Although I don't know anyone that owned an Atari ST, to be honest with you. Right, come on, we've got to do at least this stage, and then we'll uh, call it quits, I think. That's it, that'll demolish a few of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about ten bricks. <laughs> this is appalling gameplay by me, but uh, if you've watched this, this channel for any length of time, you know it isn't about brilliant gameplay. It's about having a laugh, having a bit of fun. Sorry if I sound like a broken record if you watch other other videos, but uh, you know, we're at the pub, we're having a game of uh, this, we're chatting retro and uh, we're just seeing how the game plays, what the graphics are like, what the sound's like, and there we go. It's about reliving the past, isn't it? Retro gaming, that's what I think anyway. Three bricks left. Red, yellow, well oh, that's like the German flag, is it? Not now, it's just yellow and black, I don't know what flag that is. Whoops. <laughs> right. This is going to take two goes to do. Aim, fire, yes! There we go. Marvellous. So yeah, I think uh, I think we'll leave that there, you know. That has been a second look, a revisited look at Batty on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Hit Pack in 1987. Thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any comments about the game or any similar games, please put them below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. <laughs>